A tomato is botanically a fruit, so why isn't ketchup called a smoothie? The answer lies in the difference between scientific classification and cultural or culinary classification, which operate on completely different rules. In botany, a fruit is defined as the mature ovary of a flower containing seeds, so tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and even pumpkins all qualify. But when we talk about food in everyday life, we rely on culinary categories, shaped by taste, texture, preparation, and cultural norms rather than scientific definitions. Smoothies, for example, are understood as blended drinks made primarily from sweet, raw fruits, and sometimes vegetables, meant to be consumed cold as a beverage. Ketchup, on the other hand, is neither sweet in the same way nor consumed as a drink. It's a condiment with a specific purpose, flavor profile, and method of preparation. Ketchup is cooked, seasoned heavily with vinegar, sugar, salt, and spices, and processed until it reaches a thick, sauce-like consistency, which makes it functionally and culturally completely different from a smoothie. Smoothies aim for freshness and natural flavor, while ketchup aims for tangy, savory, and slightly sweet flavors that complement foods rather than stand on their own. Additionally, the categorization of foods is strongly influenced by culture. What we call something depends heavily on how society has used it historically. Ketchup evolved from old fermented fish sauces and later from spiced vinegars mixed with fruits like mushrooms and tomatoes, so its identity has always been linked to condiments rather than beverages. Even though tomatoes are fruits, the fact that ketchup is cooked, heavily seasoned, thick, and used sparingly on other foods makes it fall into the category of a sauce rather than a drink. In short, ketchup isn't a smoothie because culinary identities depend on purpose, flavor, culture, and preparation, not just botanical labels. And no one wants to sip a cold glass of vinegary tomato paste through a straw.